Hi, this is Dr. Justin Marmajani here. And today's talk is entitled, The Infection Connection. So having worked with many patients with thyroid issues, fatigue, depression, weight gain, one of the biggest things we find is we've already gone to other doctors. But what's kind of separated us from other doctors is finding the infection connection. So again, if you're already eating paleo, you're already doing a lot of good things right, you're avoiding grains and or gluten, again, why aren't you getting better? And that's the question you really have to ask yourself. We find that some type of underlying infection that no amount of supplements, adrenal herbs, hormones, or any nutrient you can give yourself is going to actually fix the underlying issue. It's like driving a car and the check engine light comes on and you see that the car needs oil. There's nothing you can do to that car that's going to allow it to not seize up unless it has oil. So it's the same kind of thing with our body. Over time, our immune systems get compromised due to poor eating, due to stress, due to too much sugar, food allergens, toxicity, heavy metals. That's compromised our immune system and allowed infections to kind of take place. So unless we pull out that infection, it's like driving a car with the e-brake on. So we essentially have to figure out what the infection is and get rid of it using specific natural or conventional means. So it's like driving that car with the e-brake on. The faster and the harder you go, it doesn't actually help. It actually burns that car out faster. So in the short run, it may feel good. But in the long run, it doesn't fix the problem. So we want to let go of that e-brake by addressing what that infection connection is. And then you're going to notice there's a strong autoimmune connection with thyroid and with other tissues in the body in regards to these infections. So if we don't get to the core of what's causing these infections, we're going to have uncontrolled thyroid issues, autoimmunity, Crohn's, just chronic inflammation. And we know according to the research, inflammation is at the root of all health issues. So we really want to be stress detectives and figure out where our stress is coming from. So again, we know stress comes from three main sources. It comes from physical stress, it comes from chemical stress, and it comes from emotional stress. And all of these stressors actually interact on our DNA. And our DNA is either going to push us to having optimal health and smiling and feeling great, or it's going to push us essentially to not feeling that good. A little frowny face, and eventually that frowny face symptoms increase, and we eventually eventually develop a disease or a diagnosis. So again, we want to address the underlying stressors: emotional, physical, and or chemical. So what we find when we look at our patient's history here, here's a patient's history. So this is their birth. This is their death. What we find is there's some type of traumatic incident, whether it's a physical, chemical, or emotional stress, let's say exposed, let's say you got mercury fillings. Or it could have been going on a trip abroad to Mexico. It could be Vietnam. It could be any area, somewhere far. Maybe you got a foodborne illness. Maybe an infection. It could be younger when you got mono infection. We find that some type of precipitous event that comes on board that stresses the immune system out. And it even could be an emotional thing. It could be a divorce. It doesn't have to be just chemical. What we find these things stress the immune system. They break down the mucosal membrane barrier in our gut. So think of uh, Star Trek or Star Wars when they put the force fields on. That force field is like a mucosal membrane barrier in your gut and or your, your vaginal and or sinus tract. That, that mucosal membrane barrier is called secretory IgA. It's an immune cell. It, it lines our body. It helps protect us, right? We put the force fields on. We're protected if someone shoots us. But when any of these precipitous events occur on an ongoing basis, and it could be just something as subtle as eating gluten every day, it's going to stress our immune system, break our mucosal membrane barriers down, and then we fall prey to one of these chronic infections. So the solution, again, is figuring out what the infection is and addressing it. No amount of supplements, no amount of adrenal support, thyroid support will actually fix the issue. It may help and make you feel better in the short run while you're fixing the problem, but again, if we're neglecting to fix it, then we're not going to get long-term success. Uh, this is Dr. Justin here. I hope, hope you enjoyed today's talk. And for any questions, feel free to visit our contact information below the video. Thanks. Have a great day.